I've asked Ashlyn Watts to join me today in making these videos because I've been reporting about our district goals every month to the board and we've been giving a general overview of everything but I wanted to use this time at the end of the year to provide a little more depth as to what's going on in the buildings to help us reach our goals. Uh, the last board meeting I reported that our discipline continues to be um, around 15 percent less than it was this time last year and we specifically stated at the beginning of the year that we, we would use Thrive and BX3 as our uh, way of achieving these goals and I'd like Ms. Watts to give us a little more information about what exactly those things are. Yes, so um, this summer we attended Thrive. We had representatives from each school um, attend and it was a 10-day program um, where we got to develop um, basically our tier one behavior interventions and really um, structure those. Um, so that was very interesting to work with people within our school to um, help build those because we really haven't had those in place um, and just to see the change in discipline um, like you said that there is a reduction in um, discipline referrals. Um, after returning from Thrive, three of our four schools um, began the cohort for BX3, which is um, a behavior team within the school that works on tier one, two, and three behavior interventions. Um, we have created BX3 teams at the high school, middle school, and Holly Harshman, and I'm excited for Louise Durham to begin theirs in the next cohort. Um, for those interventions, we've developed um, flow charts for teachers um, regarding discipline in their classroom and office managed and classroom managed. Um, we have created behavior matrix um, or matrices, whatever, um, for each school that has expectations. Um, so like at Holly Harshman, it's RISE. Um, at middle school and high school, it's PRIDE. Um, and we've tested our students, we've tested our staff on knowing those expectations. Um, we've created reward systems for the students and the teachers um, and then we've also worked with um, the community and parents to get input from them as well so we can make those changes um, and i hope to continue to see a decrease in those discipline referrals as we continue this process so very good and there's a survey out right now mm -hmm. regard about is it just middle school right now it's middle school or high school okay mm -hmm. and we're all kind questions. of in, yes and we're all in kind of a different um process because each school kind of had different things in place already um, so we're all continuing to you know kind of get on the same page as far as our discipline and all of that so looking into the future like next year what more could we do or what do you see happening um, so I see us continuing to work on each tier um, at each school so our tiers um, two and three at each school um, and implementing those interventions to um, I guess identify and create accommodations and interventions for those severe behaviors to help decrease the discipline referrals. Very good. So, Thank you. Awesome. Thanks. For more information about the MENA Public Schools, go to our website, www.menaschools.org.